Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Biomorph. It is a Metroidvania where once you've defeated your enemies, you get to absorb their powers in some way or even become them, which sounds really interesting to me. Uh, the idea of Kirby as a Metroidvania, oddly enough, I don't think has ever been done, uh, to, to my knowledge, and it's one of those where I'm like, oh, wait, that's such a like no-brainer idea. Why has nobody done this before? So let's see how it stacks up. It's out now today, by the way, if you want to pick it up. No, they're caught in a stasis field. We have to rescue them from this, from this laboratory? What were we even doing here? No idea. Uh, no idea where we are, and there's not much we can do from this side of the rubble boss. Who are they anyway? I uh, don't remember. Our priority should be escaping this place. We'll take care of the rescue effort once we're safe. Longface has a point, boss. No, we have to rescue them. We have to get to that room somehow. Suit yourself. It's not like we have any other choice other than to follow you. Oh, and Eni, stop calling me Longface. Nope, let's go. I was not expecting that my hands would talk. Okay, so Hollow Knight jump logic. Hold it. Uh, jump higher. It's not necessarily Hollow Knight only. Uh, oh, I should have gone back to the left a little bit. Oh, well. I think I'm not supposed to at this point. Now, is my character actually a 3D model? No, no, they're, they look like they're illustrated assets. Now, it doesn't look like it, I can attack. Oh, but I have a, what? I have a dash? That's an interesting one. Where I turn into an ink blob dude. Okay. Oh, I see. Wants me to go down here. What is? The Bruisers launch a melee attack that can be performed rapidly and in various directions. Okay, tutorial. New chip's been added to the menu. Activate full power of the equip. You need to equip it. Okay, looks like I have this just... Upgraded. Oh, that was neat. Freaking neat, that was awesome. Seems like we turned into fists. Quite handy. Who cares about technicalities? I want to punch something, boss. Let's punch something. Anything, pretty please. I'm not going to punch things just to make you happy. Eh, chances are we'll punch our way out of here, so why not? I think we've got kind of a Rayman thing going on, too. The ha hands don't seem to actually be fully connected. Okay, and as with every single video that I seem to ever record, let's take those sound effects down by a couple of notches. That seems a bit more reasonable. Might just be a me thing. I don't know. I am I really don't do loud sound effects. And I think that's still plenty loud. We have that up there, but I don't think I can do anything about it. What is that? Can we use it? Yes, it opens the blast doors to the room they're, uh, they're in. I'm sure of it. What makes you so sure? Have you any idea how to interface with this? Call it a gut feeling or whatever. We'll figure something out. Isn't that right, boss? Boss? Arlo? Uh, guys, I feel weird. Like long fingers poking around inside my head and... Oh, you know, there aren't people on there. It's just a random little island. For a second, I thought it landed on that market, but no, it's in the middle of a lake. I saw the rocks in the middle of the island as buildings, and I'm like, oh, they're dead. But no. 
Hurry up, Harlow. Oh, so this is... That was close. Nice dodge... Uh, that was close. Nice dodge, Cleo. Thanks, but this is no place to talk. You remember the plan? Yes, but they're intelligent. Surely we can come to an agreement and work something out. Ilios is a big planet. They're invaders. They don't c even consider us people. In their eyes, we're scary little blue nightmares to get rid of. They refused any attempt we made to speak this out. Or probably talk this out. They don't want any solution other than their own. And their solution is extermination. Uh, it's gotta be another way. Come on, Harlow. Don't make me do this alone. I need your help. Please? So it seems like they probably got caught by a security measure. Cleo. Their name was Cleo. Well, what was that? Some kind of memory fragment? So Cleo, eh? Well, I got a name now, and your memory is coming back. Good news all around. Still doesn't answer what this place is, or what's going on. From your recollection, there seems to be a spaceship. This appears to be a spaceship. A spaceship in quite a sorry state, I might add. Must have come down from the sky and landed on... And you and Cleo broke in to fight them, and somehow you got frozen and then unfrozen, and, and that's all I got. Where'd they go? Did we win? If you don't know, boss, then I'm 100% sure Cleo knows. We gotta rescue them. Oh, not over here. Music got dramatic. Uh, oh, ho, ho, yes, time to do the thing, boss. I did say we'd have to punch our way out of here. Okay, heal up. Why is our healing this orange goop? When do we get it back? Ah, so you can sword hop. Oh, hump. Ugh. You can sword hop, uh, but fist hop. I do appreciate that it is... Oops. Oh, there's contact damage. That's not fun. I like sword hopping. I like the idea of fist hopping slightly better. I think it's mostly just... I'm tired of swords. Wait, do I just become the whole enemy? I am just the whole dang enemy. I was expecting this to be like a full Kirby situation. I got legs. Ugh. <laughs> I feel like smashing my head in the nearest wall. Did we just turn into a Toroth? You did that, Harlow, but how? Did you copy its genetic code and to morph into a Torloth? Have I done this before? Not from what I know, but that's a real useful skill to have. And the way out is blocked. You may want to turn back into a Toroth. Their rock hard and crest could prove useful. So weird going from two eyes to four, then back to two again. All right, biomorph dead creatures using L1 to take their shape. You can now use their unique skills, L1 to biomorph. Bio by biomorphing enemies, they can learn new behaviors, gain new attacks, and grow stronger. When you biomorph a monster, it's added to your menu. Biomorphing different monsters of the same type a number of times will give you its power permanently. Yoss! Alright, so we are now Toroth. Boop. So I can still jump. We had... Ah. We have... We have shouts. So I can actually just shout at things, too. Raw materials. Mix the finest materials on Ilios. Can be used to upgrade mementos. All right. I'm just going to leave that there for a second or possibly longer than a second. This, okay. Ferox analysis. So it looks like it's just a battle room. It's like a pretty basic battle room, too. Battle music is kind of Pokemon. Okay, cool. Ow. It works well enough. Alright, so we get beautiful and rare mineral that shines brightly, and a bunch of random gunk. 
and we heal up. Now, where's the where's the map? Oh, do we not have a map yet? We don't have a map yet. Okay. Do we want to go back? It felt like there was more this direction. Because I, I broke this and then just didn't go this direction. Feels like there's more both directions, ow. Alright, come in here, Klunkenstein. Ah. Okay. There we go. Aberor. Dude's actually pretty quick. Okay, cool. So I can still dash when I'm in big chunkus mode. So I can break that. Do we want to go that direction, though? I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm going. Like, it clearly seems like this place is falling apart on itself, but... I also seem to have kind of a fair amount of just free time to explore. I'm not fully sure if being this dude is actually worth it. Automatically retrieves nearby plaques. New memento has been added to the game menu. I have to equip it, but that's fine. Yeah, let's turn back. Mm, okay, this most assuredly feels like progress. Do I he heal up? Hard to say. Here's the question. Do the enemies respawn? At least not currently. Looks like I lost my morph too, but that's fine. So what's over here? Where are we going? I don't know. I don't think I can go that direction yet. At least not with my current setup. Ow. It's got a danger butt. There we go. Transform into it. Because, yeah, we want to grab as many of these. Oops. There we go. Let's heal up over here. Maybe I can get this. What? Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, let's wait. There we go. Got it. Whatever it is. Vital module. Increases my maximum HP. Unfortunately... Oh, hey, but it did heal me. There we go. Alright. That's... The... The act of using the charge to get, like, a, a running jump is super cool to me. Oh, you don't get to... You don't get to keep your... Your form between doors, though. Maybe it's just that door. I don't know. Either way, I... I'm digging these systems so far, the the becoming other creatures, using their abilities, and uh, especially the idea of like, hey, if you do this a bunch of times, you just unlock them for good. That feels really nice to me. I do look forward to doing, or going through here, when it's not currently in hyper-dramatic mode. Watch this whole game just be stuck in hyper-dramatic mode. 10-hour Metroidvania where you have like... a effectively a 10 hour period to get off a, a wrecked ship. That'd be overkill. Oh no, we're locked in. We're gonna die. If a door can't be opened, it's not a door anymore. Is it? Ergo, there must be a door switch. What if there isn't? If it comes down to survival, I'm eating you first, long face. Well, this is a save slot. I was hoping to check the other direction, but that's fine. So we can actually change loadouts. So... 
eventually we might be able to equip biomorphs that we can just turn into freely. We have chips and then we also have mementos. I might as well have that one on. So they took a lot of the customization options from like Hollow Knight and uh, took them even further. Told you there was a switch. I knew that. I was calm all along. That was a test. Congratulations, you passed. Now this, this looks like it can go here, but I suppose not. So big question is, did it respawn the creature? It did. Am I just going to get wrecked here? Yes. Now can I become this one? I can, but it does not count. Okay, so let, let's just go back and heal. Oops, did not mean to do that. Was I just running in? The answer was no. I'll go back for it if I need it, but chances are it's... I didn't need that one. I already used it for its intended purpose. Now, this lad... ...can do nothing to stop me. There we go. Where are you, chunk of I don't know what I was going to call him there. Chunkalunkus? Big boy? I just realized this is just Ben 10, the Metroidvania. Hello. I'm glad I went up. I wonder if I can punch him in the... Can't punch him in the butt. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this nice and slow. You might have other patterns, but you know what I've got? Patience. What? You know what he's got? Baby birds inside of him. Horrible, mutated, alien baby birds. Okay, let's not be there. Let's just prep for this. Okay. So bad news, cannot dash into him. I kind of wish this guy had like a three hit combo. It's it's a two hit. That is fine. Okay, I'll just be back here. I'll just slide backwards in a hot second. There we go. I really like the monster designs in this. It's super good. Like, very, very much that, like, gross, mutated, alien, freakish horror. Ugh. I don't think I'm scanning the baby bird's DNA. I don't think we saved our friend yet. What you got there, Captain Z? Careful, Lamoth. This one's a fierce fish. Haha, <laughs> it's all right. Hey there, little one. Welcome to Blightmoor. Uh, I may be little, but I can fend for myself. Oh, I like your style, kid. Are you the one who lit one of those, uh, lit, probably lit up one of those spheres? It's been dark since anyone can remember. I mean, along with most of the world. Ask him about Cleo. We need to get back inside. He seems like a guy who knows way too many things, kind of like Longface. I suppose I'm the one who turned this sphere back on. Oh no, it was lit. Huh. My memory's kind of hazy. Is there a way to get inside the big thing? None that I know of, but maybe you can... You can by going through the old database in the dunes of time. Great, I'll be on my way. Just a moment, I like your enthusiasm, kid. But the way outside is closed right now. A resident engineer, Boyd, lost a unique, a unique tool. A flying critter made away with said tool, and we closed the door to make sure it won't escape. Guess I'll help them first, then. Where's Boyd? 
Marvelous. Here, I'll give you a map and mark Boyd's location. You can always find me at the bar. I'll be at the fireplace. Map section has been added, so now we can actually map. Once all secrets have been found in a room, the borders turn golden. Use the map to find all the treasures on Elios. While exploring a room, hold it to pin a screen a pin. Uh, to add a pin and a screenshot to your map. Ooh. So, so there's the pin. So we can just delete them. That's so cool. You okay? You did quite a dive from that sphere. Thanks for fishing me out. Don't mention it. So how did that? How did you turn that thing on? Honestly, I have no idea. Could you take me back there with your boat? Sure thing, mate. Just say the word. Can I? Ready to set sail? Here we go. Oh. Huh. So we can actually just go back to where I was. Well, we've seen pretty much everything unless I want to go back here. What is this? Okay, danger. Is the answer. Oh. And actually, turns out, I can't go back there anyway. It's changed somewhat dramatically. Though the music has not stopped being dramatic. Okay, so I thought we had just been a facility this whole time. But the fact that we actually are going out to this, this big-ish town area. Oh. Huh. Actually, no. There's a thing. There's a factory at the back of whatever this alien ship is. Huh. Seems like, with how the guy said it's been dark for as long as anybody can remember or something like that, sounds like we might have been in stasis there for a while. Oh, hey, you're Lamath's new body. We just met. I bet you have your own crackpot theory about why our civilization collapsed, eh? Everybody does. Maybe there was a war? Heh, <laughs> absolutely. I'm an archaeologist, and I've been studying the weapons in the dunes of time my whole career. There's just no end to them. As countless as these weapons may be, I doubt that the reason everything went to hell, though. War grinds you down, slowly takes everything from you and gives nothing back. But when the fall occurred, everything hooked to Ferox stopped working. There could be no war without Ferox-powered weapons. So what happened? Hey, you're Lamoth's new friend, aren't you? Are you going to join our little group? You're in a group with L Lamoth? Yeah, we're trying to power up the spheres. He sends us digging into old runes in hopes of understanding what happened. You know, the fall. What exactly is the fall? The machine stopped working. Is that all there is to it? It's not so simple. Some say we ran out of Ferox, but I'm a driller, if you didn't notice. So I find that hard to believe. The mountain has rivers of it. Go and see for yourself. It's common knowledge. You could swim in the damn thing, but that might kill you. Interesting theory. Press him for information. It might help us. What is Ferox? So it wasn't that? Nah, Ferox is what monsters are born from. That's why drilling is such a dangerous job. Wait, all right. You must be from very far away. Why? Because I've never seen someone who looks like you my whole life. Except maybe in the scary books for kids. No offense. None taken. Offense taken. Order a drink and don't pay. That'll teach him some respect. Huh. I wonder if it's one of those that we were actually from a different planet and the ship traveled. Did you help Boyd? You can find her in the eastern part of Blightmoor, near the exit. Unfortunately, keeping track of all of these voices is uh, not my forte. So we'll just make do. Carnivore or herbivore? Excuse me. Sorry, I've never seen anything like you in my whole life. What does it matter to him what we eat? You could be very well vegetarian, what a brute. Eyes facing forward, scary robot claws. I'm thinking carnivore. Want a Toroth steak? Uh, sure. Forget about food. I crave action. Eh, it looks like I'm all out. Come back in a day or two. I should have restocked. I think my one minor, minor complaint, and this is mostly a stylistic thing, I wish this game had a little bit more of a foreground. A lot of Metroidvanias suffer from floating platform-itis, uh, where you are effectively only seeing everything from like kind of a distant shot and there's nothing close up to you. It uh, feels slightly less immersive that way and a little bit more like uh, pulled back, but 
that's purely just a like, eh, I like it when Metro Metroidvanias have something a little closer to the camera. Anyway, May May. Incoherent, sobbing and wailing. She holds a flyer that reads, Lost, Lost St Scargato. Uh, what's wrong, ma'am? Can I help? My Scargatos, they're gone, and I have no idea, they have no idea how to survive in the wild. But they don't know that. They think they're fierce hunters, but they're all, all they are is squishy, cute, and adorable. Don't do it, boss. It sounds like a chore. I came in from shopping and fell asleep with the door open. I've lost them forever. Pains me to say this, but Annie's, Annie's right for once. We have to find Cleo, not some domesticated slugs. I'll find your Scargatos, ma'am. I know what it's like to lose someone you hold dear. Oh, uh, 40 of them. 40? Or 40? 39 to be exact. Find them, they'll be able to return home by themselves after that. I have to go home and cook them their supper. Well, we have a collectathon quest. Honestly, it's fine though. The city's weirdly big. Hopefully, we can warp around it at some point, maybe. It looks like there might be a store above. Oops. Well, I hear a Scargato. I think. Oh, yeah, there's one. You're the stranger everyone's talking about. Please don't rub it in. My bad, kiddo. Didn't mean to offend. They say you're bound for the dunes of time. If you stumble upon any ancient and amazing things, you can bring them back to me. That's right up my alley. Do you collect artifacts? We call them mementos around here, and I don't collect them as much as I restore them. If you find old mementos in need of love, I can fix them up for you. That sounds like a sweet deal. What's the catch? I do need to set up shop in order to practice my trade. The architect lost my shop's blueprint, and now I need to retrieve it. I think you could give me a hand getting it back. I'll mark a map where I believe he dropped the thing. Consider it done. Okay. Boop. Sow. Playful and loyal little Scargato. He's fond of birds, especially the blue ones. Oh, I saw a bird. Kill it. Okay. I think we gotta go back down. I really need to rewatch DBZ Bridget at some point. Like, I didn't vibe with a whole lot of the other abridged stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged was actually pretty funny. What are you looking at? The ruins of a great city. What else is there to look at? They're kind of beautiful in a sad way, aren't they? Like a sunset. They kind of upset me. I don't know what ruined them. Knowing what caused this won't help us in our daily lives. I see what you mean. But it couldn't hurt to know. There's so much I forgot. There's some kind of amnesia. Remembering is all well and good. But you have to live in the present, not just the past. <laughs> Starting to get why Lamanth wanted me to help the people of Blightmore. Yes, L oh, Lamath. Lamath? Lamath? Lamath understands what we need, uh, that we need to look to the future. Maybe you can help me try to make this place a little bit more beautiful, one step at a time. I need to learn to focus on what we have. Oh, we need to learn to focus on what we have. What we can do instead of what we lost. What we cannot do. Maybe try that sometime? Maybe I'll try that sometime. And some dude with many beer beards, birds, seagulls. Why do we just turn into a goo boy when we dash? I hope that's at least moderately addressed at some point of why we are part liquid. Hey, cutie! You didn't happen to notice a uh, kale uh, kale ox flying with a flying by with a wrench? Uh, no. Ugh, I'm so stupid. As I was throwing my wrench at the flying pest, I thought, probably shouldn't do that, Boyd. That's how you lose things. So I threw the wrench and lost the thing. I'm Boyd, by the way, but you probably figured that out already, huh? Can't you get another wrench? Not really a wrench, but a fariscalating fluxograph. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue. They don't make them anymore. That one's from before the fall, dang it. I see, what does it look like? A wrench. Uh, what did I expect? And what do you need a furrow skater flex a wrench? What do you need a wrench for? To, or to measure ferox pressure and close pipes. I discovered a mechanism from before the fall. If my theory is correct, it could let us travel over vast distance, distances in an instant. Oh, does that mean we could punch everything everywhere all at once? Sign me up. I'll keep an eye out for a wrench that isn't a wrench. Ah, you're the best. I'm gonna work on keeping my voice lines somewhat separate. What about down here? I'm assuming it's probably over here. Oh yeah, there's the objective. 
I'm just gonna focus on that. Currently, it doesn't seem like there's much of a reason for me to explore the city. It's also huge. God, there have been like a dozen Metroidvanias this year, and they're really good ones too. Ultros, Mini Shoot Adventure, though that might be a little bit more Zelda y. Uh, Mezzo Skyway, dang. Uh, let's see. Ultros, this. Uh, Mini Shoot Adventure, though that's a little bit more Zelda. Uh, oh boy. Oh no, that's an enemy. Whoops. No, it's fine, actually. Uh, what else is there? Ender... Uh, let's see. Ender Magnolia? I, I swear there's, like, been a handful more Metroidvania-y adjacent games in the last year or so that have kind of cropped up in different ways. And it's one of those where, like, it kind of... I don't want to say sucks for me. Uh, this is the complaint I made the other day. Uh, when I was playing mini shoot of like, I absolutely adore this genre. I wish I, I wish I had more time to play them. Uh, cause I, so I guess this is kind of a continuation of the topic. I'm a little burnt out on the number of games that are coming out on a given daily, weekly, monthly basis. Or did I actually find the thing? Or did I get a separate memento? Oh no, we did actually just find the Fluxograph. Well, that was easy. Uh, but there's a lot of different games that are coming out on a given daily, weekly, monthly basis. And, like, a lot of them are pretty good. My problem is a lot of them don't really do anything particularly new. Oh, those are pretty trees in the background, actually. Kind of very conical shaped. Um, but it's one of those where it's like I get an email and it's like, here's a new roguelike deck builder. I'm like... Was it any different from the last five? Hey, is this your Pharaoh? Uh, fulminating Framistat? Floralating Femograph? What is it you call it again? See why I see why I call it a wrench? And yes, that's the tool I lost. Thanks, cutie. So, what's this whole new way to travel? Oh, well, it's only a theory so far, but I think they use these Ferox tubes to travel. The ones marked safe. When you put something in, it's reduced to a plasmomorphic wave, a plastomorphic wave, and that's what it sends. On the other end, it reconstitutes the wave to its original form. I don't get all that, but wouldn't that kill you? I'm still trying to get over. I'm still trying over short distances with different objects, but the only thing, the only highly flexible ones, made it through unscathed. Sounds like these. Oh, sounds like these safes aren't too safe. It's still experimental. I need a tracking center to regulate the pressure in the pipes. I just need a third party to vouch for it. That means I can use it. I'll vouch for the project. Wow, cutie, you really are the best. Here, here's the blueprint. Take it to the city registry and they'll take care of it. Okay, do we actually know where the plans are? No, it doesn't look like it. There's something about missing blueprints. Oh. Restore our blueprints. Whatever. We'll get to this in the... I. We'll go back out there. Welcome to the city registry. Would you like to build something, buddy? Maybe I do. What does it cost to build a house? In this economy? Not much, really. Bli Blight more. Welcomes everybody and pays for most of it. Oh, that sounds nice. Don't get your hopes up too high, buddy. This city requires blueprints to be approved by the architect to make sure everything's up to standards. But the architect likes to take walks, long walks, all around Elios. I haven't seen his bespectacled to face in over a month. Anyway, feel free to browse the city registry. If you have a blueprint already approved by the architect, I can build it. So we can build the tracking center, at the very least. Okay, so the reason why the city is big and empty is because you actually build it up. That's sick. So we don't have anything else, and that's fine. I guess we might as well talk to him again. Bring a blueprint, get a building, simple as that. All right. And in we go. Way to go, cutie. Now we can proceed to the next phase of my experiment. Time to upgrade a safe. Good thing I built this center right in front of a safe. Almost like I thought about this all along. Ha! With, a, with a safe kit, you'll be able to upgrade one. Once that's done, it'll become a safety. Uh, a safety. The T stands for transportation. 
Then we'll be able to send things from one safety to another. I'll monitor monitor it from here. Yes, we can finally stop walking and start zipping around Helios. <laughs> As if you were the one walking. Here's a bunch of safe kits. My tracking center can monitor 15 for now. Upgrade the building to track more. Simple as that. Okay, this is a lot. So, to kind of... I, I think we're free to just do whatever at this point, maybe. Okay. Oh, upgrade, upgrade. No, we probably go in and talk. Got it. Here's our next quest. Hey, cutie, good job on upgrading the safe. If you find any other blueprints in the tracking center, bring them to the city registry. Updating or upgrading it will let me track more safe. Win win. I see Blightmore's already changing for the better. I'm glad I asked for your help. Thanks for helping Boyd. Now that everything's back to normal, I'll open the door outside the city. Come and see me once you're ready. One last thing, cutie. Here's a weird looking weapon thing I found. Hope you can use this because I sure can't. Ha! <laughs> Executioner. Fire ranged Ferox bullets at, at enemies. Neat. Okay, so I think we gotta go back. I'll see if we have another uh, save that I can work with. Oh no, this is... Oh no, this is not walled. This is walled. I cannot pass. Rude. Uh, anyway, so there's like a lot of roguelike deck builders. There's a lot of just city builders and whatnot. And for so many of them, I get really bored because I just don't, you know, I, I just don't care about, like, five different city builders. After a certain point, they're all the same with, like, the exception of uh, Bulwark Fal Falconeer Chronicles, which is, like, the one uh, city builder I played in recent memory where I was just like, oh, this is just different. And I was very, int very into that. I want to ask you about Blightmore and everything around it. Why is it ha half runes? Everything on Helios is half runes. Barely any technology works anymore. Why well, ask for your help with the spheres? I'll take any aid I can get if it means helping my fellow citizens. Oh, I see. How can we activate the other spheres? No idea, but I bet you could find out in Athenium. Remember that database I told you about? Sure seems obvious when he says it like that. Him and his impeccable mustache. I do have a question of my own. What sort of creature are you anyway? I've never seen anything quite like you. Wish I knew. The only way to Athenium is through the dunes of time. All right, well, that's easy enough. So let's just head that direction, I suppose. Uh, but so, with the exception of, like, yeah, Falcon or Bulwark, uh, most city builders are just kind of cut from the same cloth and kind of generic feeling. They're not bad, but it's one of those where it's like, you pick one of those games in that flavor and then you're kind of done. Uh. 4X games, I think, kind of fall in the same vein. Some people might really like Civ, but I'm more of an Endless Legend guy. Uh, and then there's like Stellaris and Endless Space, which are both good, but ultimately, you know, the flavor I've chosen is a Endless Legend, and that's kind of the one I will stick to. From a city builder settlement builder perspective, it's like against the storm. From Metroidvanias, I couldn't even tell you what my favorite is. I will play any and all of them uh, voraciously without question. Factory builders, I think, are one of the only other ex exceptions. Rude. I might as well heal up. It seems like we get more healing juice by fighting. So if I'm damaged and I've got both of those full, I'm wasting my time. All right, so we found that lost tool. Now, how did you say I could get inside the building with the spheres? A build big building with the spheres. That's the core. My best guess is the database in the Dunes of Time could give us clues on how to get inside. I see. Does that database have a name? Anything I need to watch out for? It's at the Athenium, a very old library. I can't say for certain what's inside, since no, no one from recent memory has gone in. Yeah, that's why it's important to leave the door open, so we can analyze its collection. Take care, Harlow. Marvelous. Are we all set? I'll open the gate and get ready for an adventure. like obviously I do have some standards there are some metroidvanias that I just like won't play because I just don't think they're that good now uh that has become this does it it pukes orb 
Okay, let's go up first, just in case there's something cool here. This is neat. But yeah, I, I have some standards for Metroidvanias. I can't I can't just play all of them. Ow, rude. So we should probably also grab that. And then biomorph into it to keep grabbing form changes. There we go. I don't what the hell are you? I have no idea. It's gas uh Gas boy, ow. Gas boy hurts. I'm gonna heal up just in case. Okay, so it kind of does a gas hover. No, okay. So it only hovers across spikes. Give or take. But we can look around and we can find a gondola? Let's see where it takes us. Probably back to the city is my assumption? No. I see. So we're missing... We've got one out of four. Whatever those are. And I can't go over this direction. That's fine. I just almost wish the gondola was locked off, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter. I really like this world, by the way. It's very alien in a satisfying way. There's a sense of familiarity. You know, I'm seeing highways and streetlights and whatnot, but it's clearly sci-fi, but obviously post-apocalyptic sci-fi, so that's slightly different. Oh, right. Next save location we're at, I should equip my gun. Oh. Does this boyo. Okay. I bet that's a different form. Yeah, this boyo can just go over spike platforms. Let's do another swap. And keep exploring. Okay. No, wait a moment. That sucker can't aim up or down. So it seems more practical for me to go for... Kind of, uh... Well, let's see. Pogo hammer attacks. Let's see. We don't have to worry about it being too automatic. So this lets me go back. Or not really, no. What a weird game. But yeah, I wonder if an amount of our, like, Metroidvania... Uh, character upgrades are simply going to be um, just like creature forms that we've unlocked permanently. Like, hey, this guy just goes across spikes without caring about it too much. Or the chargers break things. Pownio. Grumpy and r romantic. This Gargado doesn't like to be home alone. Maymay's lap is his place of choice. She got 39 of them. Whoops. Can't just sit there and wait. There we go. Okay. I'm not actually sure what the merit of this was. Didn't really do me any good. I guess it's just for getting back, but it's fine. All right, we might as well upgrade this one. To some degree, I might want to sting a smidge and, like, hoard them uh, just in case, like, I run out. But chances are that's not actually a big deal. Well, that hurt.
Okay. There we go. So, ah. Scare Biddle, female to the Fubarang. They can emit a very hot and dark smoke. The smoke is used to keep their eggs warm and suffocate any predator approaching their nest. It can also be used to hover above obstacles. When you bio no, bio, uh, biomorph enough monsters, you can use their skills by equipping them. Okay, I'm gonna just chill for a second. So is this just like a random other one that I can become? Yeah. I guess in case I had lost the form. Okay, so this looks messy. Is this just to get back? No, there's a dude here. What's up, dude? Hey, friend! Care to hear some sweet tunes? Is this the right place for a show? This dude doesn't even seem to care at all. I like him. Any place is the right place for a show. But you're if you're not feeling it, here's the record. Uh, the Skyway inspired this piece. Listen to it with your heart and your ears. But that's the easy part. Well, we have nothing to play this, but maybe Blightmore's bar has a jukebox. Thanks for this, but you really should find a safer place to compose. <laughs> so we just get the uh, the whole soundtrack for the game from this guy. I like that. Oh shoot, what was the um what was the game? It was the motorcycle Metroidvania. Motorvania came out a couple months ago. That was the one I was trying to think of actually. Uh Leica Aged Through Blood, I think it was. Uh let's see, restores shop blueprint. I but Leica Aged Aged Through Blood. Unless I got the title wrong again. Uh, that one had a beautiful soundtrack, and also you'd, you'd find the soundtrack by exploring. I guess there's no reason- oh, we know you can keep exploring them, in or, uh, you can keep just getting their forms, or form information. Hmm. There we go. Can't shoot up now, can you, sucker? Alright, we've almost got this guy. I'm probably gonna wanna keep- his form especially, just because ranged... Wait, no. We definitely do get a ranged attack later, though. Well, not later. We have it. I just have to figure out how to equip it. Whip. There we go. That was some momentum nonsense. Okay, so those... Those guys are super flimsy. Uh, ow, deserve that. Oh, I see. Uh, go back here. How do I? There we go. I think that creature is just not fast enough. There we go. Now, the one thing I will say, there is a gap there, but I'm pretty sure I can't get through it with my current form. Nor am I really sure if I want to. Ugh, I don't like contact damage. As one small beef I'm gonna have with this one. It's not bad, but it's one of those where it's like... Something this fleshy looking shouldn't do a whole lot of damage to you. Mail to the Scar Biddle. Uh, what? Oh, the, the, okay. Can throw a bone at high velocity. If the bone is not returned quickly, the organs collapse, leading to their death. Only their most accurate... Only the most accurate make it to adulthood. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. What the hell, man? Like, I was not expecting... Yeah, this creature dies if it misses. We need that gun. Ow. I deserve these things, but it's fine. We get healing. Go back. There we go. 
I like this creature too, if only because it has the ability to um, attack on a diagonal. Ow. Thought I was out of range. I was not. Right. And we want to keep warping between these. If it's vaguely red, we... We want it. There we go. Do another swapsies. Can I actually get up here? Yes, I can. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Feels weird. I wonder if you can cause these guys to get... Uh, to miss. Like, if you cause them to miss, will they just, like, die? Probably not, but you never know. All right. Mess with this a little bit. Biomorph. So these are the two I have equipped. I have no idea how to chain change them. Okay, so extra monster attack, extra monster charges. I wonder how many times you can upgrade that. Okay. Executioner. We don't have any more mementos. We've got things in our inventory, but eh. I see. So I can just become this sucker freely. Uh, not quite freely. It looks like it has a limited amount of charges. Okay, so I just have a gun. I don't know how we get more charges for it, though. Maybe we don't. Maybe that's kind of the rub. Not entirely sure. Okay, there's something here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll just I'll just wait until the uh, the Ghostbuster. It totally looks like a proton pack laser. Recording device used from before the fall. It looks pretty worn, and the screen does not display anything. Yeah, so this guy, uh, this guy cannot touch spikes even laterally, which is nice. I guess Gal, technically. It looks like we've got, like, horrible spikes in our legs. I'm pretty sure that's actually because of the, uh, the character's design, not the monster. Yeah, they don't have the spikes. Oh, that's... Kind of messed up looking, actually. Yeah, so we've just got painful looking spikes embedded into this creature to kind of signify that we're the, you know, fake version. Wait, hold up. I didn't actually warp into this one. I wonder if we can get more. Like, what is the maximum? Is there a maximum? Okay, let's let's try this. So I've got a limited amount of charges. I'll have to see if they come back at any point here. But maybe it's one of those that it only comes back at save points and your entire goal. Oops. I got what I came for. Uh, it only comes back at save points, but your entire goal, to some degree, is just just be somewhat conservative with your resources until then. Oh, hello. Your coat's a little singed. Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm all yes, I'm all right. Hee <laughs> hee. I was just so excited. I didn't realize a Florox was in the vicinity. My coat paid the price for my enthusiasm. I spotted this weird relic from before the fall. It looked like a letter taper, but it was intact. Letter tapper. Tapper? Tapper. Consider my interest peaked. Maybe I can get it for you. Where is it? You're not afraid of a Florox? Well, how can I turn down such a kind offer? I'll mark down where I spotted it. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? What's it look like I'm doing? Sorry, that's kind of the same voice. What does it look like I'm doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I don't know. Playing around with a wooden stick? I thought this place was a refueling station. 
Well, you're not wrong. This is a refueling station, but it's not doing much uh, doing much of that lately. Why is that? You sure are no nosy, pal. I, but I see what you mean. Well, so I'll tell you. The pipes carry the unrefined ferox to the badland. Oh, the pipes carrying the unrefined ferox to the badlands have stopped working. But the pipes are not the problem. It's the damned pump that keeps turning off for no good reason. These pipes, pipes seem to lead not just here but to the core too. Activating this pump may help get it, uh, help us get inside. I can help with the pump. But what do you even use the unrefined ferox for? Well, I'd much prefer refined ferox, but we all know the few that's left is off limits in the Fornax storage. So we make do with unrefined ferox. Anyway, about the pump, just give it a good whack. It's an old thing that needs some tough love to stay active. A lot of NPCs. Soundtrack is orchestral. I was not expecting it to be this degree. Huh, and that's not gold rim, so there might actually be a uh, shortcut there. If I check the map, what is this? Oh, I see, just feel one's way. So that's just the quest. So I've been here before. We just went up instead. Watch this be the secret right here. No. Okay, so where are we going? Down? Yeah, let's go down. Oh, because I couldn't earlier. There's a barrier in the way. Is my assumption. Maybe. I don't know. One way or another. It seems like a pretty expansive Metroidvania. Once again, I, th I thought much of this was just going to be located in one small facility. And it's so nice to be wrong in that regard. Having it be this big kind of expansive world gives a lot of opportunities for... Well, world building is the real answer. Oh, we can't get there even if I wanted to. Well, that's fine. Let's just go this direction. Because we had a Healy Shrine here anyway. Yeah, we didn't get any charges back, so it might be one of those that either we get the ability to regain charges later, possibly through like a perk. Or, I don't know what. It could just be one of those that we just have a limited amount of, uh, we just have a limited amount of charges and we're stuck with that. I, I don't know. It's fine either way. I'll just wait for this one. They're weak enough. They just slow me down a little. What are you? Cool looking. Map updated. Okay, so we... Oh, so we get to see all the different locations that we're going to. I don't know what this is. Walk in the walk. Uh, open the database to the dunes of time. And then we also have fill the tank. Cool. Yeah, let's just keep looking around. Yeah, genuinely one of the better Metroidvanias I've played in a while. And this year... The past year or two have been stacked with them. There was kind of a period of time where everybody just wanted to make Hollow Knight again, and, uh... You don't... You don't look great. Here, let's start with this boy -o. Ow. Ow. I guess it should probably heal. I think I'm gonna need to heal again. Okay. At least I've kind of got his combo. And I could also try doing, like, some gas stuff. I'm noticing this form has unlimited energy. Whoops.
Okay. Uh, I'm kind of hosed. I don't know how to turn back. Whoops. I think he's just coming down right there. Okay. His, his hitbox isn't too bad. Heal up. Oh, this again. And it seems like I can kind of hit him like two or three times here, if I'm careful. Didn't work. I was not careful enough. I wish I knew how to turn back. I think it's fine though. Okay, so he actually wants to be in this spot. Okay. And then he goes up. Then we got debris. My bad, Debris. Okay, I do not have a heal. So I cannot take another hit. Really depends on what he wants to do. Alright. One more, got him. That was dicey. Well, we get a memento socket, which is useful, and does not look like I... Oh, that's how we just turned back. Fair enough. Wish I knew how to turn back and immediately do it. Oh, right, there's no secrets here, so we don't need to think about it. It's fine. Ooh, creepy. Hey, Harlow. Still going to Athenium? Yes, I... I hope to find what I'm looking for in the database. Good, good. It's much more than just a database, probably why it's so tightly locked. There's apparently a grand library full of bi biblio cubes and many, many archive rooms. I bet my head that we'll find a way to get, get to, um, I bet my head that we'll find a way to get to Cleo in one of those rooms. And you're nothing but a head. Well, I'll take you up on that bet if you're serious. I'll finally have the calm and quiet I long for. Ah. Uh. I bet Longface's head that we'll find a way to get to Cleo. Uh, don't wait for me. I'll take the slow but safe path into the Athenium. It's on top of the dunes. Okay, so I think we're going to want to just... Oh, you're a cool looking whatever the heck you are. Ow. Okay, got it, and become it. Okay, what does this do? Hurts me. What if I do that? I see. So I can just turn that off. I don't know what that thing does for me. Can break the mirrors. And then we've got this thing. I'm just gonna punch it in the butt a bunch. What are you gonna do about it? Be sad? There we go. I am now a whatever this is. One. Okay, this junk doesn't hurt me. So that's good. Uh, I'm actually unsure of how to proceed. Oh, triangle? Oh, I see. Warp point. So I can go this way. Okay, it is destructible. Is it? Is it? 
If it is destructible. I'm not seeing how to do it. So that might be one of those that we come back for. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a form that I keep with me. Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, I should really heal. I cannot. Still cannot heal. Hopefully there's like a memento or something at some point that gives me the ability to heal. Ah, so that's what we'll need if I'm going to get through that. Here's a good save point, and I think we'll upgrade this one. Okay, so uh, let's upgrade this so I have a nice fast travel point. Let's take a look at the map. We've actually cleared a fair bit. So obviously I did not uh, link this save point, but I don't feel like I really need to. I linked this one up here, which actually feels just about as practical. Should be easy enough to get around. But look at this map. It's actually pretty large. Tons of different biomes. Branching paths right from the get-go. Many of which are probably inaccessible to me. But I love that feeling of potential like, hey, I could go here. Kind of. I think this one we loop back on ourselves is my assumption. Because he did say that there was a safer path over the dunes that I'm pretty sure we can't take. And then I don't know what's over here. This gets us fill the tank, but maybe I can't go through that. Oh, no, we absolutely cannot. This was the one with the high barrier that I couldn't get over. So even if it's linear, it feels like it isn't because the map is like, hey, you could go to all of these places if you can. I like that. Uh, it's got great artistry. I like the little uh, hand, an hand animated cutscenes. Those add a lot of, I don't want to say dimensionality to this. Because uh, that's probably the wrong word. Immersion. Uh, it actually makes me feel like this is a story. Rather than just like, it's a Metroidvania. But uh, somebody cared enough to, you know... Oh, I don't know. A lot of Metroidvanias just have stories. Uh, but it never really feels like I'm compelled to care about them. Toroth. Radiations atrophied its arms and skull. Their brain did not shrink and now pushes against their cranium. They have a constant migraine and charge at everything in hope of relieving the pain. That's so dark. Which I guess is kind of supposed to be the point. Anywho, uh, let's see. So I guess with all of that said, I might as well mention that Biomorph is available now on Steam and I think Switch. Let me let me actually double check this one just to make sure my information is completely correct. Okay, uh, so I looked it up and the answer is it's Steam now, but it's coming to every other platform in a little bit. Uh, we're not going to talk to this guy. We can, but we're not going to. He'll just have to wait until I pick this up and play it for myself later. So anyway, like I said, it's it's genuinely one of the better Metroidvanias I've played in a while, which is wild because there's a lot of really good ones. I don't know truly how it stacks up compared to Ultros, Mini Shoot, uh, Hollow Knight, or so on and so forth, but I had a lot of fun with this. It feels like, especially once you get a bunch of the monster forms and mementos, and uh, you've also got like blueprints and some other things like once you have access to all of those i'm sure this is going to have a ton of different like i don't want to say progression paths but it feels like there would be some level of an expression of a build uh, which i'm looking forward to messing around with let's not be in this weird quiet room anyway i guess with all this said if you want to pick this game up now like i said out on steam today so also if you like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.